Studying aerospace engineering at university is not for everyone and in this video I'm going to share five traits that I think suggest that you should study aerospace engineering. Point one, you have a passion for aerospace. If you already have a strong passion for aircraft and spacecraft, this is already a good indicator that aerospace engineering is the degree for you. If you intend to make your passion and interest into your profession, then you will need an aerospace engineering degree to work on aircraft and spacecraft. Also, studying at university is more so a marathon than a sprint, and if you have a deep-rooted connection to the topic that you're studying, then it makes it so much more easier to power through the tough times during your degree because you have something deeper to connect to and think, you know what, I'm gonna get this degree. Point two, you have an interest in cars. If aircraft and spacecraft is not your cup of tea, but cars and motorsports are, then aerospace engineering may still be the degree for you. The motorsport and automotive industry hire many aerospace engineers due to their specialised skills in aerodynamics. Formula One is a great example where the work of the aerodynamicists greatly impacts the success of the team. Therefore, if you have an interest in motorsports and automotive and that's the industry you want to go into after university, then aerospace engineering is a great choice for you. So if you study aerospace engineering and then go into the automotive or motorsport industry, then you'll bring a unique skill set of aerodynamics to the team because Mechanical engineers don't necessarily work as much in this sort of area, so if you have an aerospace background, then you're bringing something extra to the team. Point three, you're good at maths. If you've excelled in maths and physics whilst at school, then you have an excellent foundation to do well in your aerospace engineering degree. Aerospace engineering is a very maths heavy subject and if you are able to understand these complex calculations then you'll have a good chance of getting a good grade in your engineering degree. Fluid mechanics and thermodynamics are two of the juggernauts when it comes to maths content in the aerospace engineering discipline. These two are pretty much core subjects in the aerospace engineering degree and you will experience them throughout your years right from first year to your fourth or third year depending on how long your course is. Since these two major subjects are unavoidable throughout your aerospace degree and they are quite maths intensive that's why I think if you're good and have excelled at maths in school you should choose to study aerospace engineering. If you want to know what sort of grades you should be getting in school for your maths and physics sort of subjects then uh, click the link above. There's a video I made, I don't know which side it will appear, but it's talking about what I studied in school and what sort of grades you should be expecting to get to do well in university. Point number four. Four. Yeah. You enjoy making physical things. If you enjoy building physical things, for example, I don't know, random DIY in your house to building bikes, then aerospace engineering may be the degree for you. Aerospace engineering is all about building physical things like planes, rockets, cars, and even other things like renewable energy wind turbines. So if you're someone that enjoys the feeling of making a physical thing and then seeing it in the real world and touching it, then aerospace engineering could be what you're looking for. Okay, in reality, as an engineer, you're not going to be building physical things with your hands like every day. The reality of being an engineer is that you'd be working with tools on a computer, whether it be computer-aided design or computational fluid dynamics, but the fundamental thing is you're working towards building something that is physical. And even though you are working behind a computer screen, I still think there's that excitement of knowing that you're working on building the next generation fighter jet, rocket, or the latest and most quickest Formula One car. So ultimately, even though you are at a desk, you still know that you're building something that will be appearing in the real world. Whilst at university, you do have a lot of hands-on physical projects. And in fact, here's one of the projects I did in my first year. So this is a gyro car, which was made through different workshops and we had to use different methods to actually build this vehicle almost. Point five, you're comfortable with working in defense. A good proportion of aerospace engineering graduates do go into the defense sector and this is 
primarily because it's one of the largest chunks under the aerospace umbrella. And if you're not comfortable with working in defense, then it could really stunt your growth and your career in the aerospace engineering industry. I'd say this is definitely not a make or break point because I know there are many other aerospace engineering graduates who don't particularly want to go into defense. However, there are other industries that you can go into. I'm just saying that if you are willing to go into defense, then it could make your life much easier after graduation. You can actually check out the other industries that aerospace grads can get into by clicking on the link above here for another video that I made talking about the careers that you can go into once you finish your degree. So my personal view is if you did agree with most of these comments and statements and points, then uh, you are well suited to study aerospace engineering and go on to have a career with that degree. So if you now are interested in learning about what a aerospace engineering degree entails, click the link above uh, or click this link next to me and that will take you to another video where I talk about what it was like studying for four years in aerospace engineering.